Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Viewer 2. In today's episode I am starting a new map and I will try to make some big money. And the first things first, uh, we need to find a perfect city where we can build some industry to connection. You can also open this dialog box and then you can see uh, which city what they need. But uh, first I will look around a little bit for a little Id idea what we can make here. And I actually found this city and uh, they need a fuel and uh, food. And it's pretty easy to make so I think I will choose this one. It's a small town but it will uh, rise very big because I am using a natural growth mod and with that mod the city are quite bigger than the normal in the game. So and let's see further for the connections. Here we have a oil and here we have a fuel refinery so we can make a connection between those both. There need a two crude oils to make a one oil for the fuel. So we need to keep that in mind and here we need uh, one oil to make a one fuel. So it, I think it will be okay. And in this game I am first uh, thing what I am doing I am uh, making a connections but between uh, industries and the towns are growing faster and then I make a transport for the passengers in the town and in that you can faster gain your money and pay that loan what you have in the bank and now we need to think how we get the fuel to the town so so I think I will make a, another line to transfer the fuel to the town and it will make uh, things move faster. And at first I will make a road connection. Here you have uh, two types of road. Uh, one of those are for the city and uh, the other one is a uh, highway. And here I will make a highway road and I will choose uh, this uh, cheapest one because we don't have that cars who can gain that top speed for the another roads and so now it's time for the truck stop so let's place the first one uh, in front of the oil factory and I'm choosing the one platform and the maximum length uh, what we can because it will uh, because that a crude oil factory will uh, send the oil very fast and uh, very much out. And the second stop we will place e in front of the oil factory. And the third one goes to the... Uh, actually the fuel... Fuel fabric. And so we are ready to create a line. So let's... Uh, press this new line button uh, and I will call it oil to fuel truck because in uh, one time I will set it to the train and we will have uh, enough money for that and there we go comes the first stop there is the second and it all go to the fuel factory. And this is one completed connection. And now that all we need to transfer to the city. So we need to make a road connection to the city. So you can just... Uh, make a road on the side of the fabric and then make a straight line to the city but I will make a little bit interesting this and there you can see the money and there is a one trick in the game are making the road a uh, road slope uh, as smooth as possible you can just make this easy and 
just place it as me and you can see the the game are making for me the tunnel and the road is very straight and uh, no hills here but also you can split the road building and make it around the hills but that I will show you when I will build the road at the next time and here I will build uh, one more truck station but in this time I not build it uh, in front of the factory but a little bit farther and here you can see when that white field are shooting off it's too far that stop from the factory but if it's white then everything are okay and it's connected to the factory and also we need to make a stop in the city here you can uh, see the uh, icons but you can choose this layer and see here is an industry zone here is a residential zone and also the commercial zone and you can also place it the stop with that and so everything are looking great for now we just need to make a, a line for the city so create a new line and I will call it uh, fuel to city and also it will be a truck and let's connect in the stops the first one will be here and the second in the city and everything are connected so we can move out some trucks and make some money and so let's place a truck depot and you can actually rotate it with the M and N key and if you hold the shift and press that keys you can move it a little bit smaller the step of the rotation and so depot are placed so we can now buy the trucks and we need a cargo truck and here we can see the maximum speed capacity and uh, which cargo types uh, they can load so this we can make we can buy this one because there's a fuel and the oil but this is uh, faster and it can transfer all cargo so I think I will I will take this one instead of the horse because this is faster and this is slower so let's buy um, at the start maybe some 12 will be enough uh, to go to the city and all another goes to the oil fuel line and now let's speed up the game and let's see how the money are coming in the bank so the trucks are departing from the depot so already we can see here and the crude oil are waiting for the trucks so everything are wor working good there are no mistakes in this line let's speed up a little bit the game so we have a lot of money left we can also repay that loan little bit and it will be okay for now and now we just need to wait uh, while the line is est established and gain some money and here we already can see that uh, trucks are waiting for the fuel to the city but uh, there is nothing for now but it's okay it's a normal at the start and here we have a different situation here we have a overload so we need to make a change in con construction you can place this cargo pallet places for 
extension but also you can place these buildings I'm actually like it more these buildings because you can place here 75 cargo items it's more more bigger capacity it costs enough but uh, it saves uh, room in the map and I'm actually like a bit more. And here you can open this box and you can see which line are gain uh, positive balance in your bank account and the negative one. For now it's all negative, but it will change in some minutes because just a moment and the trucks will take a forced cargo and while the fuel line are stabilizing itself I thinking about the food because the city needs also a food so maybe I can make uh, one more new line from the food factory and it will gain a more money for us because we need money to repay, repay that loan and also if we will take a look around the map there's also another one city which one need a food so I need to find a better food factory to deliver that cargo to the city. And I think it will be this one. And as we can see there will need uh, to grind to make a one food. Here we have a grind factories also so it will work I think. And so for that I will take uh, some loan. Um, <laughs> maybe some three millions. It will be enough for that new line. Yeah, three millions. If he will need uh, more, we will take. And so let's think about the road. We need a road straight to the city. So. From here we can drive to the city and in the back we can take some grain to the factory and it will make money in the both sides of the line. So let's do that. So you can also can delete this uh, yields it doesn't affect the factory itself it's just for the uh, visuals for the game and let's make a road so let's uh, draw a road to this side place a truck stop And that will take a grain to the food factory. Here we will have another, another truck stop. And this will be the first line for the food. Let's call it a grain to food truck. And let's connect the both truck stops. And now we need to build a road to the city. And at this time I will draw it in the separate steps. So we will draw around that hills we will search a flutter 
place to this side and straight to the city and it will be cheaper than that first road which I built in another side of the map and here you can also turn on the slopes of the hills and in this stage you can save uh, money, a lot of money actually because in the game if you draw a straight line you already see that uh, the game are making uh, bridges and uh, tunnels but here we are making our road ourselves and just connect to the main road and everything are done and now I can't decide I will make a one line or the separate line maybe at this time I will make uh, just a one line who operates that food to the city and we will see how it's doing and if we doesn't like it we will make a change so also let's buy the uh, truck stop for the food and place it in the commercial zone like here and now just add that stop for the existing line and it's looking like this grain to food factory back to city city to grain and back to factory and it will make a much more money than that line I think maybe so let's buy some cargo trucks for the food line and I think I will choose again this uh, diesel truck and five for now so and let's look how are we going with the fuel and here are looking for a train because it's over filled okay I will for now add some more trucks but it will not be enough for now but I want to repay that loan and then we will make a railway here cargo railway so let's speed up and gain some money and also the food factory are working good so no problems in here for now and when the production will comes to normal then I will connect that another city which we will have on the other side of the map and deliver them some food and so we are going good with the fuel so we can repay some uh, loan and minimize that uh, loan interest uh, payment in the month and so we are gaining some money now I will repay that loan and uh, see you I think at the next episode when we will build the railroad for the fuel and trying to maximize our budget so thank you for watching and see you soon at the next episode bye